I've got some stuff in my bag. What did I buy this time? I don't remember. What's in this thing? Don't forget to check out my merch as well. I've got merchandise from my Teespring store. The link's down below there. In case you want to buy something which, you know, t shirt, mug, something like that. I mean, maybe I want one of these. Just so. Right. We have a whole bunch of 3D printer nozzles. Now, I did buy different sizes. I think I bought 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and 0 0.4, something like that. I think I've got, because I've got a 0.4 nozzle on my Ender 3 right now. And it's a nice general purpose nozzle, but sometimes you want finer detail, and that just doesn't really cut it for doing really small stuff. It's okay, but sometimes you want something which is really fine. A 0.4 nozzle just isn't really suited. So I've got a few different ones. Now, question is what the hell's turned up I don't know this is um, they don't say what sizes they are checking the cart yeah different part numbers on those 51 twos different part number again and three different part number again so I've got four different sizes I don't remember what I purchased though um, <laughs> What are you in these bags for? I don't need these bags. I hate pointless packaging. What a waste. That drives me nuts. This is more stuff I have to throw away. Well, I actually won't throw it away. I'll, I'll be using it for something. I'll put them in my, in, my, um, in my box of things to use later. They won't be thrown straight in the bin or anything. But. So yeah, um, each bag's got five sizes in, uh, five pieces in, I should say. So I don't know which size, which. Let's have a look on the side of the mart. Yes, they are. Okay, these are 03 mil. You see the marking on the side. And then we've got these ones here. What are these? 0.5 mil. So I've actually got a slightly larger size here. So it allowed me to do faster prints. And what are these ones? Okay, one is lovely somewhere. Oh, can I see one? Here we go. Point, point two mil. Yep. So this one's probably a point three, is it? Point one. Focus. Yep, point one mil. That's really small. I don't even better use that. <laughs> See, there we go. I don't even better push it through. Maybe if I've got a, um, a really fluid material. Yeah, low viscosity material, maybe it'll work, but I don't know. Um, maybe TPU or something like that. I haven't tried print printing with TPU yet. I should try that one day. There'll be links for these down below in the description there, in my, you know, the list of things I've purchased. So. Go check them out if you need some nozzles for your 3D printer. These are say these are for the end of three, but they probably suit other printers as well. Point one, uh, one point seven five mil. I should state that too, should I? All right, see what's in here. Hmm, a postcard inside a liquor. <laughs> Is that a sticker chewing gum? No, it's not a sticker chewing gum. Um, I think I know what this is. Interesting, seeing me a postcard at the same time. This might give a clue where it came from. Any ideas? This, I think, is a replacement part. Wow, this is... <laughs> Uh, it's like stuck together. It's like uh, okay. This is don't drive me nuts. This this.
Here we go. Well, at least the package it well, so it can't like penetrate the packaging and stuff like that. So this is a blade here for a Leatherman knife. I don't know if it's an original blade. It might be an aftermarket. I really don't know. It's listed as being like at least compatible with my current one. I'll show you what, why I needed that. So this is what I needed for was my Leatherman knife here, my, my charge Leatherman charge knife. All right really handy thing, I carry it with me all the time and this is the blade that's supposed to be replaced right so I was using this knife once and I was, I was doing something with it which I probably shouldn't have been doing I was putting a little bit of leverage on the end and um, the end pinged off and you can see why it's got like that um, hook part there for cutting through boxes and stuff like that you can see it's supposed to be like that and that piece broke off and I thought well I've always been a bit disappointed that I did that so I splashed out and purchased the replacement blade. Now obviously it's not exactly the same as the original. It was black instead of the stainless. But it's supposed to be the same blade basically. Yeah, I think it might be an aftermarket. I, to be honest I don't really care. Um, it's better than having a broken blade. The tricky thing for me is going to be getting this thing apart. It's supposed to have these nuts here which is supposed to be out of undo. Knurled nuts. See that? I'm trying to get rid of those. It's like a bolt that goes through. So one side is like, like a, a shaft of the threaded section inside it, and the other side is like a bolt. And you're supposed to be able to grab hold of those and undo it. And uh, I guess I'll find out if I can do it or not. I imagine they're done up quite tight. So then I can replace this blade. That's the plan anyway. Okay, I'll see what's in this one. Thanks to my Patreon supporters as well. Anyone that supports the channel, gives me donations or buys things to my store, so that's helpful. I also to buy items for mailbag. The more money I can get, the more I can buy. There's a list of Patreons at the end of videos. You can see the list. I show who's supporting me currently. Or at least at the time when I made the video. Right, let's get this out of the way. So the capacitors, so it used to be a case of when I got a bag from RS Components you'd expect to see capacitors, now it's when I get a bag from Element 14 you might expect to get capacitors, <laughs> yeah, I think the weird thing about Element 14 right, if you have a, a order limit, so you have to be above a certain threshold to get free shipping right, but then they'll break that shipment up, well they'll break that order up into different shipments to send you to them I send them to you piece by piece, you know, you know, so they get to um, kind of start string sentence together, man. Um, <laughs> so they get the parts to you as quickly as they can. They'll send you bits of it as they can, right? Or from different sh um, warehouses or whatever. So then you get free shipping, then, but then you get like four packages or whatever. It's, uh, it seems a weird. I'll just get free shipping for one thing, and I'll buy one thing instead of buying four things. Um, it might work out cheaper for them actually. Anyway, never mind. So these caps. What do we get? 4,700 microfarad, 25 volt. Yep. Was that 10 of those? Oh, no. What brand are these? Ah, oh, Machuta. It's fine. Panasonic. Machita, is it? It's Panasonic, isn't it? Machita. That's fine. Just checking the brand, make sure I've got a decent brand, like I should have done. Yeah, there you go, Panasonic. It says on the bag. So these I'm going to be using for a um, refurbishment of some RF power meters, which you'll see in a future video. Oh, small capacitors. What are these ones? These are small. 10 microfarad, 25 volt. Very small form factor. Yeah, I think they're about 4mm across tonight. 
four mil diameter. Very small. So sometimes you need small parts to squeeze them into the tight places. Yeah. Just crisp when you need them. Surprise! One more piece. Right, let's put this together. Put this together. Let's open this up. And I think about editing again. Right. What's in here? Batteries, right. So these are supposedly 780 milliamp hours lithium ion batteries. We'll see. I purchased these for um, a device I should be getting from another YouTuber. People were familiar with Ian Johnston, his uh, PDVS V2. I think I said that right. He's got a voltage calibrator he, he generates well he makes them he's designed and makes them and sells those and um, he's promised me a a unit which when he's finished developing it which is a mini version and it takes one of his batteries so I've got some batteries now to put in it um, now it's in the charger yeah that'd be it soon eventually I hope so I should tell you about this postcard shouldn't I so this is as it says on the back because I'm not expert expert on this stuff a view of the dome of St Isaac's Cathedral from the roof of the Winter Palace which is apparently in St Petersburg as I've been informed I've had a few postcards recently it's quite interesting add into my collection right so thank you very much for watching hope you found it interesting um, I'll probably do some kind of testing on these batteries um, in fact, yes, I've got a perfect idea for doing this, patching the batteries. We might do something like that. But these are 780 milliamp hours, as I said before. There's lots of fake ones out there which claim to be like 2000, all sorts of rubbish like that, or even more than that. Yeah, no, nah, 780 is more like the sort of value you're actually going to get in a real battery. So don't be fooled by those fake numbers you see around. Anyway, uh, don't forget to subscribe, click the bell icon, all that usual stuff. Uh, share the video too. Sharing the video helps me quite a lot, it helps to broaden the range of. Um, exposure for the channel and the more people that find it the more likely are to have more people um, subscribing and helping the channel to grow more so if you're not doing anything just share the video if you're not gonna don't have to subscribe don't have to click the bell icon don't have to buy anything don't have to use my merch don't have to support me just share it even just do that that's a big help in itself okay get started thanks nice for watching bye bye Make sure you go and watch more stuff. Watch more. Watch more. Watch more.